Let's go up to the ring, fans. Chris Miles duck under the arm there, quick reversal on the gift, has firm control of that wrist lock, but the gift rolling through, up to a feet, cartwheels over, another roll through, front flip, kicks the hands, the big the chest of Chris Miles, got to keep up right away, oh! the gift that the gift can gain, God almighty! I can't believe he, how fast he got off from Jason Kikian's drop kick and retaliated with one of his own, way to go Chris Miles! Chris Miles showing a lot of fire early in this contest, but he's got to remember to have that cooler instinct. He shouldn't be letting up right now. Now it's not the time to take your eyes off the gift. And now both men locked into a test of strength where Jason the Gift Kincaid is looking to get the advantage here, but Miles fighting back with upper body strength of his own as he takes Kincaid down to the mat. And Kincaid there, you see he's still firmly bridged up there. His arms aren't touching the canvas. There's no such thing as a pinball attempt there. No. No, Kincaid is too smart to have his shoulders anywhere near the mat. You see him up there, tripping up Chris Miles, but Chris Miles back up to his feet every single time. And the gift with the kick to the gut there goes straight into his side headlock on Chris Miles. Chris Miles keeping that hand up in the face of the gift, trying to jockey for position. Nice. to no avail at the moment. Nice side headlock applied by Jason the Gift. Kincaid trying to slow the pace of this match into his favor. And now Chris Miles with a reversal, going back to a wrist lock. And Chris Miles very intelligently working on one body part of Jason the Gift Kincaid. Well, that's the name of the game in the business. You pick out one spot, you make it a weakness, you tear it apart. The only time there's an exception to that rule is if there's already an injury going into the contest. Absolutely, and Jason the Gift Kincaid, a flawless competitor, is hiding his injuries even if he does have one. He doesn't. There's no weakness in the gift. That's why, why he's called the gift. He's God's gift to wrestling. Well, I didn't say any weakness, but everybody gets injured in that ring every now and again, Steve. The gift barring Miles into that corner. Masterson comes off. But Miles, big boot to the head of Jason the Gift Kincaid. The gift running back to the corner to a back elbow. Chris Miles to the middle rope. Comes off the middle rope. Corner from the heavens. And the gift in the corner turnbuckles now. But it lifts. Oh, wait a minute. Now, should that be a disqualification since he went over the top rope? Absolutely not. What? Miles had already connected with the top rope there. All the gift did was knock into a man that was already on the top rope. He didn't throw him over. Okay. He merely added to pre-existing momentum. Well, thank you, lawyer Hensley. As the gift is taking apart Chris Miles on the outside with the dirty double-handed tactics they are known for. And you see the gift still firing away on Chris Miles. Chris Miles. And good God. A sliding kick to the feet of the gift took him off his feet there. And Chris Miles is on top of things right now. Two count only is jawbreaker. Wow, just rattled Chris Miles. That ain't sweet like candy. Uh uh. Off the ropes and spinning heel kick by the gift. Goes for a lateral press. Kick that by Miles. And now King K with that reverse chin lock applied again, trying to slow the match to his own pace and keep Chris Miles from performing any more high-flying tactics like that Hurricane Rana we saw earlier. Get very intelligently here, cutting off the wind flow to Chris Miles. Chris Miles moving so quick in this match, so well conditioned as the young man, that you definitely want to take away the advantage as his ability to regenerate those muscle tissues, that his ability to just fire back repetitively. You want to wear that away, depriving the oxygen to do that. Thank you, Dr. Henson. And KK missing with the elbow now. And Chris Miles, small package, this could be it. But no, the gift too quick, kicks out already. That's why they call him God's gift. It's the gift to wrestling, did I tell you that already? You, Let me yeah. tell you again, he's God's gift to wrestling. You, how much does he pay you every time you say that? He doesn't have to pay me a damn thing, I only speak the truth. If you were speaking the truth, you would say lots of more things about the gift garage and their cheating style. Like they're doing right now, look at that! You're absolutely right, it's very effective. There's another thing I should be saying. I can't believe you, Steve. And you see the gift here showing good killer instinct, standing on top of the chest in the throat area of Chris Miles. 
Chris Miles in a world of pretty confusion at the moment, wondering why he did get himself in this position as he gets flies over those ropes and continues to work away on the body of the injured line. Chris Miles, who looks like he may have a laceration on his back there. It could be a, it could be another laceration like the one we've seen in uh, Smithers. But I tell you what, what a great match that was with Jason the Gift Kincaid and the NWA Dog Pound Champion, Chance Profit. Nice gut wrench into a slam there by the Gift. Pinfall attempt, kick out by Miles. And I tell you what, what a feather in the cap would be if Chris Miles was victorious over Jason Kincaid, a former heavyweight champion. Well, hell, Stiles, let's call it like it is. I throw all the support in the world behind the gift. He is God's gift to wrestling, but Chris and Miles is a hell of an up-and-comer. It wouldn't be any small feather in the cap of the gift to lock away this victory tonight. Really? That's an interesting analysis coming from you, Steve. I thought you would be all pro-gift. I'm absolutely pro-gift, but talent is talent. you got to call it like it is. Chris Miles, hell of an upside in this business. And now, Chris Miles getting whipped here the corners. It's just too nice. And Kincaid marks the spot, but nobody home. Oh, wow. Miles able to roll out the way at the last second there, and the gift is in trouble right now. If there was ever a time to mount a comeback, if you were Chris Miles, right now, right now is the time. Chris Miles has to look deep. Kincaid's bell is really rung from hitting that ring post. Miles, get up, baby. This is your chance. This is your morning. You see this the gift there, first man to his feet. First man to his feet is the gift, but Chris Miles firing away with those stiff shots to the head of the gift. European uppercut, the gift on the ropes. Sends him off, the gift already reversing those. Slaps the hand all the way. Oh, oh, one the comic drop. I tell you what, after that inverted atomic drop and ends the I thought Miles had the victory for sure. Well, you would think that, but once again, Styles, you would be wrong. Uh, and now, whoa! I don't know where Kincaid coming back. But Miles wisely great by and gets around with this. Nice German suplex with the bridge there. I really thought that. Chris Miles was going to get him with that German suplex. I mean, Chris Miles is staying on top of him. Wait a minute, he's got him up. What's he doing? No, Kincaid reversing. Kincaid. I was whipping in the corner. And Kincaid just measuring him as he goes in. And oh, my hell. Hey, on, Smash. Brings him back off the ropes. Close lights him down to the canvas. Springboards off the ropes. Drop kick to the head. Good night, Irene. This one is all but done. Two. And oh my God! Miles kicked out! How did he kick out? I cannot believe Miles and the sheer drive and desire. The heart of this kid is undeniable, but he is in there with a lion. Jason Kincaid is always hungry for a meal. Absolutely, and now, what are we to try them? Kincaid was trying to use the ropes to his advantage, but. Nice elbow by Kincaid, you said. Spin kick though by Miles. Picks him up, fireman's carry position. Where's he going from here? Oh, man, no. Kick to the gut by a Kincaid. And where are they trying? Kincaid trying to suplex again. Sweet One, two, three. Wow. Thank you, Lord God. Dad's gift to wrestling is the winner. I don't Big victory for the gift. I'm Big victory. I don't know if I would call him the winner so much the survivor in that match. Because that was the most hard-fought match I've seen Jason Kincaid have for a long while here in Mountain State Wrestling. Would you, wouldn't you agree, Steve? Fantastic victory for the gift. Chris Miles, young up-and-comer, but today is not his day. Jason Kincaid walking away the better man. We're back and ready for more action. Now let's go to the back and get comments from the Baronis brothers, followed by Juicer and the Patriots. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Brent, I'm Brandon, and we're, we're the, the Bronus Brothers. Brothers. Tonight I heard we're facing the guy named the Patriot and the Juicer. The Patriot Juicer. Oh! Oh, yeah, those guys. Ooh. Ooh. Tonight's our first tag team match here in NWA, Mount State Wrestling. That's right, Brent. And we're going to do what we do best, Brent. It's win. It's win? That's right. It's punch time, bro. It's punch time, bro. Let's go. This is the American Patriot, along with Juicer, 
talking about the match we're going to have tonight, tell them who we're against for tonight. You, sir? Brick and Brack, baby! Brick and, I thought it was Scooby and Shaggy. Scooby and, sh no, Scrappy. 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 The Brunus Brothers. Guess what? A star was just born. The Juice Patrol is coming loose on you, Brick and Brack. The Brunus Brothers. Let's Me go and you, it. let's go do it. All right.